Get your medieval geek on with Shadowversity t-shirts. Available through Teespring. Link in the description. Shadowversity. Greetings, I'm Shad, and if you're familiar with uh, my video content, you might have come across uh, the times where I talk about the Gambeson. Gambeson is a type of medieval armor and is made up of layers and layers of linen, and sometimes they would have wool kind of sewn in between. And I compare it to leather armor and uh, basically, you know, say in greater detail than this that uh, leather armor as we conventionally think of it as depicted in medieval movies and stuff is generally a load of bull. Didn't actually exist in, in the way that it's shown. In this video, I want to talk about why a bit more, specifically why Gambeson is so much better than leather armor. Because leather armor did exist in some cases. I talk about it more in my original video, so I'll let you have a look at that so I can save time here. Well, the first thing, in just regards to getting hit, okay, its ability to stop uh, cuts from getting to the skin, from all these tests that I've seen from uh, experimental archaeologists in, in full-scale documentaries made by the big documentary groups, uh, Discovery, History Channel and stuff, to guys that do it in their backyard. Uh, the Skalagrim, great tests against Gambeson, and of course, Thane Thrand. If you want some of the best, okay, practical tests of sword, medieval weapons against medieval types of armor, check out Thane Thrand. Bucket loads of very intriguing, okay, bits of information that helps me draw my conclusions. And the conclusion that I draw, Gambeson is a flipping amazing, okay, easily as effective, maybe if not even more so, than leather armor in preventing cuts and also stabs. There are some caveats to mention in regards to this because with Gambeson, it also depends on the amount of layers. Uh, and this is something that's also an advantage with Gambeson as well because there's more flexibility in the level of protection versus freedom of movement that you can get out of it. First of all, it's far more malleable than leather is. So in terms of freedom of movement, you already have far more than leather. And of course, then you can add layers. And I wonder how many layers you would need on a Gambeson before you get, you make it as stiff as what leather would be. It would be so many, far more than the max layers, in my opinion, that are uh, heavy gambesons would have. Because if you look at heavy gambesons with heaps, heaps of layers, they can stop longbow arrows, okay? Not just prissy hunting, you know, arrows from a hunting bow, but from a war bow. That's crazy. Could leather stop it as well? Yeah. <laughs> I would say the leather did its job. So since it took no damage whatsoever, I mean, I think we should go up to the razor heads or actually draw it to see what happens if we cut that up. Razor head to the knee. There are, you know, many um, tests showing leather being able to prevent arrows. But the thing is, Gambeson does as well. Leather is pretty good at, you know, uh, stopping a blade, so it'll prevent you from getting cut. But its ability to absorb blunt force trauma is far less than Gambeson, because Gambeson is a type of padding as well. The next advantage that Gambeson has over leather is its repairability, okay? Uh, getting a cut in, uh, in the, you know, leather armor, if it's either halfway through or all the way through, you can't really reconnect that cut. Can you can, you can try and sew it up, but with the Gambeson, you just replace the layers that it was cut through. If it was cut all the way through, you can sew it up, and there's a bit of an, an equivalent thing in regards to that. And finally, the renewability of the resource itself. Gambesons, most traditionally are made out of linen. Linen is made out of flax. And of course, flax is a plant, and you can plant as much flax as you want, and if it gets rain and the weather's decent, you'll get a good return. With cows, okay, that, that's a far more la laborious task to try and raise a lot of cows. And, and, gr and raising a cow just for the purpose of its hide is a very wasteful thing, especially for the medieval period. Now, I'm not saying it wasn't done, but it's very, very wasteful to the, po to the fa point where only the richest of the rich 
would actually do that. You see, for the average peasant, the cow is a beast of burden. So it's very, very useful to plough your fields. And that's just the ox, okay? Let alone actual cows for their milk and things like that. And so killing, you know, bovine, whether it's an ox or, or uh, you know, a cow, and I'm sure I'm messing up some of the terms, so thank you for correcting me, I know you will. But killing these animals just for their hide, extremely wasteful. And so you would have the problem with raising them and they might die and stuff like that because you've got to feed them as well and through winter and so that's where hay you need to grow hay and store and it's funny so for it to get you know large-scale leather armor you actually have to grow a type of crop anyway hay to store that away to feed them through the winter whereas with gamerson you're growing that anyway and so leather seems to be doubling up the work already and another thing in just regards to the uh, usage of uh, the original materials leather and linen Linen would be in production constantly anyway, because just general clothes are also made out of linen. Now, it's not to say leather wouldn't be in production, but the types of uses that would determine the levels of quantity uh, would vary significantly between the two. Because, you know, uh, clothes require far more material than the things you make leather out of, it would just necessitate large, larger scale production of flax and linen as a result. There was an item of clothing that uh, leather was used for a lot with, okay, and that was these. Not 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 the not more modern ones I'm wearing, the medieval equivalent, but leather was the primary sole that people used on their shoes, and they would wear out far quicker than people's clothes would. Your clothes would last several years, hopefully more years, especially in the medieval period, but your shoes, if it's just leather, my goodness, the soles on those would wear out. So why do you think the cobbler was such a prominent job back in the day, uh, the guy that repaired shoes? Now, there's no way to determine directly that uh, because the primary use of leather would be for shoes in the medieval period. But not only that, okay, you know, uh, sword scabbards as well, water skins and other things. Well, leather is a useful thing. But if uh, large-scale production of leather, okay, and cattle and, uh, you know, cattle to get leather. If it was as difficult as we can, you know, infer from looking at uh, the medieval period and stuff like that, that means there would be less quantity of leather that is still needed to be used for very useful things like shoes. And so uh, just using a massive amount of leather for a piece of armor when you can make uh, a piece of armor that's not only just as good, but it better, in my opinion. It offers better protection value because of, you know, um, resist padding, resistance, uh, sh uh, blunt force trauma and stuff. Just as good as at resisting cuts and things. So, and it's also out of material that's ready, readily available and constantly being produced and can be produced in larger quantities than leather can be. It would be absolutely ridiculous to make a piece of armor out of leather in this context. And so these are the reasons why Gambeson is so much better than leather armor. And perhaps there's, there's one more reason. It looks way better too. Look, I, yeah, I'm a bit biased, but I think Gambesons look awesome, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you again. And until then, farewell.